Hello Libra and welcome to your weekly angel message and this week's message is Mystique and Mystique is talking about you persevering and moving forward in a new direction and a lot of people are doing that right now. We move in groups, we have different groups, we're born at different times, the planets are aligned in different ways that can make us have our cycle, a 10 year cycle, a month cycle, all these planetary alignments. And this is a group getting ready to let go of a chapter in their life and literally move forward. And it is a specific message. Uh, what I'm talking about right now is for Libra. This meaning is for each and every zodiac sign. And I'll be doing these weekly as long as I get enough views. And I will continue to do these. So please thumbs up and watch these videos. I will keep doing them for you. But this is about you having the perseverance, the strength, and the courage. There is a sense of courage. You know, when you get on a horse and you ride a horse, for those of you who don't know, they're really big, okay? They're really big and they're really high. So there's a sense of adventure, right? There's a sense of excitement because you have to, to put your foot in the stirrup and do a big jump in order to get up on the horse. It depends on the size of the horse and all that, but I'm talking in general the average size horse, which is about what 15, 15 and a half hands, right? So this is you being able to get on this horse without um, um, any blankets, without any rope. You're going to jump on that horse on your own. It's like the strength and the courage inside of you, I feel, is going to be this adrenaline rush, and you are literally going to take it and go with the universal elements around you because that's what they're saying you have an opportunity to make something happen something very very positive for you so use the, the guides around you use the beings of light and love in your own higher power to make this happen it may not come back again for another year another uh you know another cycle for you but it is definitely here right now there's a sense of magical mystery to this beautiful beast of a horse that they have on this card. I love this depiction. It really is great. And all the cards are listed below. I don't make I don't make any money off the cards. I put the I put a link. They're pretty much everywhere. You can find all the cards, but I listed what they are in a couple places you could go to. So this is this magical, fierce and and mighty part of you that is getting ready to come out because that's what it takes in order to create the ten of pentacles so what you've been waiting for what you've been working on the ten of pentacles comes after the eight eight is all about putting everything you had into making something happen getting a foundation a long-term marriage for a lot of you this is feeling secure in your own environment finally for a while you may not have four to five years you may not have felt secure whether that's in a relationship or your own personal environment working for a bank getting an opportunity where something's going to come in and it's going to be quite lovely it may come in in pieces so this may be a, 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 a type of a loan where you get uh, so much money every an increment this may be a payout of, of somebody that you love a deceased loved one and that's the way it's set up where you get a certain amount of money every so often every year something like that this is about your inner foundation and the foundation that you have underneath you what's planted in the ground and you as an air sign libra you live up in the sky a lot but you're very grounded because balance and harmony is what you truly desire so of all the three air signs, you're the one that can connect to Earth the most. You can connect to it and stay connected to it as long as you have uh, openness to listen to your inner voice. That's exactly what I feel you're going to do. This is getting a, a job that is going to make a big, big difference in your life. But for most of you, this is something coming in. But let's keep going and I'll give you the next message. Hold on, i got to shuffle it out. There it is. All right. So we have the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups is saying, you may have known about this for quite some time, Libra, and been very focused on it. That's why you were working so hard with the Eight of Pentacles. That's why you took a big break with the Nine of Pentacles. And now there's an opportunity sitting in front of you that you must be able to see clearly. 
you have to focus on what it is you want. And for this particular reading and only, I'm going to depict this card because of the messages I'm receiving. These three cups, although they're filled with love, you may have to turn around and not look at those three cups. Because this is the one you want. This is what you ask for. This is what you're being guided and given right here. So in this particular one, it's not about being bratty and nasty or anything like that or bored. This is about you paying very close attention. Do not stop now and focus on your dream. Focus on what it is you truly want. You can absolutely make it happen. It's like this beautiful period of time where we have that moment. And for a lot of us, it will be in September of 2021. And the new us will come into uh, like January through June of 2022. So here we're going to pull some adversity and see what's going on that could block you from your focus, block you from your direction. And we have the Empress. So With this, you know, I'm talking about a foundation, and some of you, sorry about that, <laughs> it just fell all over the place. The foundation, this may be a family type gathering where you were focused in a different direction and not even paying attention to the ones you love. However, you're being guided to actually focus on what it is you want. For a lot of you, you want this family reunion, you want the birth of this child, you want the Empress, man or woman. It doesn't matter. The Empress is a divine energy. This is a mother type figure, a grandmother figure, but this is like a reunion of somebody coming through, which I think I said recently. Oh, I just did a, a future prediction for the, the last quarter of the year, and I think it was in that. Two of Wands, you're going to pick a path, and that path is going to be very hard. Do you pick one way or do you pick the other? Again, you've got three cups on the bottom where there is love there. But you have a bigger cup and the cup is handed to you from the heavens above. That's what you really want. So it's your choice. It's how you want to take action. Some of you, it will be going toward your family. Some of it, and friends and co-workers and everything that you have. Not just family, but what you've already established. While others of you is picking a new path. One that is going to be exciting and it's going to be filled with challenges that only a Libra would understand. <laughs> you guys, you know, there's certain challenges that you like. A good challenge, right? In a fun, healthy way. So you're picking a brand new path in life. And this brand new path, this new opportunity, this new move, whatever it is, whatever direction you're going, you're going to be able to make it become something greater than you thought. Because the cup has wings, and the cup has wings for a reason. The cup has wings because it's being guided to you. It's part of your plan. It's part of your destiny. You have the nine of cups. You see, this is beautiful. So don't stop now because you've got something incredible and getting ready to come in. I mean, if you're socializing a lot and drinking too much, you probably want to take a look at that. But that's your decision. But this is about the, the nine of cups. And the next one, we have coming would be the Ten of Cups, and that's the Happy Home Life, Happy Family card. So you're in brute, and a lot of you, I feel this is a moment for you, are going to find out you're having a baby. Some of you, it's a grandbaby. And for some of us, it's reconciling with our own family members. You've been apart three to seven years. Empathy is the word of advice. This is the guidance for you in this particular week from the time that you view this video. Seeing it from the other person's side this time. And I know I've heard this message before, and I'm pretty sure it was in a Libra reading. So if that's the case, then you may want to, and you've been attracted to both. It's just an opportunity for you to see it in uh, from underneath, from diagonally, and look at it from the way they explained it to you. They need to look at it from the way you explained. This is general. It can go vice versa. So you guys, I hope this helps you and have an amazing week. Please thumbs up this video and much love.